So, a blessing day, everyone. So, for today, we are going to talk about writing your data interpretation. So, congratulations, you have made it this far. So, that means you've done your data collection, you've done your products, you've done your experiment, and you have survived. And this is the next thing that you have to do to survive. So, before I get to these samples that, I present, that I'm presenting right now, allow me to give you a review uh, and what uh, give you an idea on, on what to expect for today. So for the data interpretation, for, for our data analysis, specifically under discussion, results in discussion, this would comprise the, the explanation and the implications of the findings. So it is not possible for you to just like present your data to your to your readers without any explanation so you would not just allow them to make sense of these on their own so this means that you have to explain okay and aside from the explanation uh allow me to reiterate this is the minimum by the way first paragraph will be the description plus the related study or literature to support the result. Then the second paragraph would be the implication, okay? Relating to your study or relating to the field that concern that concerns your study. Okay? So ganun lang siya. Very easy. So let's start with this one. This one is for product research, okay, product development. So here is the title, table number, table title. So we have three formulations, okay? So what we're looking at here would be the mean and the verbal description. So one way for you to do this is to look at the highest. So what is the highest? It's always the highest or the lowest. But if you're handling multiple data, you could look at the trend if it's, going up, going down, if it's increasing, this decreasing, you can look into the pattern, okay? But for here, we have treatment one as the highest and treatment three as the lowest, okay? So let's describe. Table 14 uh, shows the mean score for okra ice cream. By the way, I just made that up. Okra ice cream with a palaya in terms of its aftertaste. Uh, based on the responses, this table presents that treatment one got the highest mean score of 7.9223 with the verbal description of like very like very much on the contrary treatment two i'm also including treatment two already because they just have the same verbal description and close mean got a verbal description of like moderately with mean score of 6.7912 and 6.6514 scores respectively. Okay, we indicate the respectively because we want the, our readers to know that 6.7 is for treatment 2, 6.6 is for treatment 3, okay? This goes to show that treatment 1 is the preferred uh, formulation by the respondents in terms of the aftertaste. Uh, let's say treatment one has the less uh, okra, okay? So let's now find 
uh, a study that talks about less uh, less uh, vegetable or less less okra and better aftertaste. Scholar. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have questions, just type it on the comment section. Okay? Okra and aftertaste. Let's look for studies. So let's look at this one. So we're checking. Wala. Hada pa tayo. How about this one? Okay, let's let's look for something that deals with aftertaste. Let's see if aftertaste or the taste. So here, point six. So that means here that in a study samples with more uh, containing more pectin or what you find if I understood it right. We have to double check. It's a mucilage, okay? Yung sticky na part, yung madulas. That means um the formulation that may uh the formulation that has more mucilage has the least like aftertaste so it supports this particular result so i'll find who's the author It cited already Tobil et al. 2020. Let's put that below. In Tobil et al. 2020. Samples that were high were uh, the samples that had the highest amount of pectin or okra mucilage was the least preferred. This supports the result favoring treatment one with the least amount of okra. Okay, so we're done with the first paragraph. Let's go to the second paragraph. This, this, um, uh, with this, by the way, there are other ways to like <clears throat> write, but I'm not, I'm not confining you to this format. You could play around, but not super like literally speaking. You could <clears throat> try other words, try other approach, but get it to you, usual na pattern. With this, it, uh, Consumer, uh, it can be implied that consumers um, like the treat the formulation with least amount of okra in terms of its aftertaste. This will. This shows how okra appears to have its aftertaste in the 
other treatments that the respondents opted for the one with the least or uh, least included okra ingredient. Okay, then we could like talk about um the pectin and the mucilage, but we have mentioned that uh that there's the aftertaste, lessening the aftertaste may help improve the acceptability of the products. Uh, we could also say and addressing the source of the aftertaste. Okay, so we are working on the idea that assuming that these are just like made up data. So let's say this is 50 ml, this is 70 ml, and this is 90 ml. Okay. So from there, this is your data interpretation. Did we get that? Okay. So, good luck. Okay, so we're okay with this part. Let's move on to the experimental. And actually, you could also apply the approach for this uh, to descriptive ones, okay? So here we have the control group, experimental group, um, pre-intervention, post-intervention, pre-intervention, post-intervention, and the corresponding verbal description. So this is quite tedious because it has lots of like faces or it has a lot of um, interventions. Pero sige, we can do this. For this, this is the statement. Statement. It is important, very important to me to be a good reader. So which one is the highest? So it's the experimental, very high. Okay, and in comparison to other activities, which it's very important for me to be a good reader. So same but it very high. Okay, so even here, it's the highest sa mean. So let's talk about it. By the way, don't forget to write your legend below, okay? Um, what table is this? Table 15. Shows the importance of reading between between control and and, and experimental groups before and after the intervention. Let's say the treatment here, kunwari lang, the treatment is use of iPad as supplement the or use of technology while reading. Okay. So, the data shows or presents, syempre nag-shows dun sa, sa, ta, sa taas, hindi siya pwede ulitin, that the statement Let's put it like this. Or when it italics, para alam ko na hindi siya part ng sentence. It is very important to me to be a good reader. But the highest mean in the experimental group post-intervention with 3.55 as its mean with in a verbal description of very high. Then, since this is an experimental, I could explain muna, since dalawa lang naman sila. I could explain a little bit what's happening. So, tingnan natin yung sa... Uh, Control group, sa control group, bumaba from high 
Although parehas pa rin silang high, 2.95 tapos naging 2.6. 3.05 tapos naging 3.55. So, let's talk about that. In relation to this, the statement under the control group got 2.95 with a verbal description of high before the intervention and got the uh, which decreased or lowered to 2.6 after the intervention period. By the way, even if we're talking about intervention, we're not using any intervention for control, okay? This presents uh, a lowered mean percentage. On the other hand, the experimental group got a 3.03 .03 or high rating for this statement before the intervention, which then increased to 3.55 after the use of technology while reading. This presents the increase in the mean percentage. Of course, I would have to support this with, uh, what do you call this one? With, uh, with a related study. So, for this part, dahil madami siya, I would suggest na i pwede siya kasing dito sa second paragraph ilagay. Okay? So, ako naman, it's my call. Sa so, second paragraph ko siya ilalagay yung supporting study. This implies how the use of technology affected the, the respondent and particip the participants. sense of importance for them to becoming a good reader after using technology while reading. So I'm going to find, again, sa Google Scholar, the study that will help me support my claim that using technology while reading is effective. Oh, ayan. Oh, uh, ayan. So, pa ko. Sense of importance. Ito lang yung medyo tedious na part. Pero kaya niyan. Siyempre yung bandang 2020, para hindi masyadong ano. Pero ito, siguro is, this looks, in, this looks ano. Interesting. Hey. So you want students are more interested to improve their reading comprehension by using technology. So we could use that. Or siguro hada pa tayo isa. Then at your result. Para mas appropriate yung kanina. So we would get that. Site na natin. Get that sa baba. In area and pustika 2021. Is 
affirms the effectiveness of the use of technology to emphasize the importance of becoming a good leader. In support to this, si Bala, I forgot, Area and Postica. Area and Postica 2021. Okay, tama. 2021. Present, uh, stated how the use of technology through webtoon motivated the learners to improve their reading skills. There. So you have your two paragraphs for this already. Okay, diba? So, very easy lang. Oh, last one. Sabi, para kumbaga alam na alam na natin. So, for table number three, gender of the respondents. Table three presents the gender of the senior high school respondents in the use of technology in reading. As, uh, as evident, males, syempre siya yung mataas sila, so dalawa lang naman pinagko-compare natin. So, we could discuss both of them already. Male, male, males comprise 77.5% or 62 out of 80 of the respondents. While I should use participants para ano? Para consistent. While uh, the females included the 22.5% of the total population. This presents that majority of the participants were male or males. So, for this one, since we're just talking descriptively about gender, we could look for gender and reading. Gender and its effect to reading. Oh, ito, 2022. Let's look what part we could possibly cite for this. So we have to read. Okay. So we would say that it has an influence on the cognitive development with a specific period, okay? So let's put that there. We would not copy-paste, of course, that's a mortal sin. We will paraphrase. Okay, wait. Copy. And let's put it here. Then we'll alphabet, alphabetize this afterwards. So we'll just put this down. Yeah. 
So, in the study of Macgillity and et al. 2022, the children's gender of a student may have an influence in their cognitive development. In the development, may masyado malapit. On their cognitive faculties. In terms of ages, in the early age, in, in, in the early age. Okay, so moving on. So yeah, okay. Pero much better kung makakahadap ka dun sa para sa age nila. So pero for example purposes, ayan. So we have those again. Explanations and implications of the findings. We look at the highest, the lowest, the pattern, and then we ex we narrate, we describe. That was the second paragraph would be the implication to the study, okay, or the field that concerns the study or to the topic itself. So I hope uh, that uh, explains it. So for your task, <clears throat> please interpret one of your tables and then post it as or no 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 then submit it you could write it down then write it down your write it on your binder notebox then we would see if it works if you could just possibly screenshot, but I would prefer that you would write since I'm just asking for one. So please don't forget your references as well. Okay. So if you want more videos, if you have more questions, just feel free to comment. So if there are no other concerns anymore, let's call it a day. Okay. Good day, classmates. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe.